And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 5th of November, 2021. It's the birthday of the playwright Sam Shepard, Fort Sheridan, Illinois, 1943, author of 40 plays, including Curse of the Starving Class, Buried Child, True West, and others. It's the birthday of the novelist Diana Abu Jaber, born 1960 in Syracuse, New York, American mother, Jordanian father. When she was seven, family moved to Jordan, spent two years there, which affected her profoundly. Her father was a professional cook, and he was especially known for his lamb shanks in buttermilk and okra braised in garlic. And so she took up cooking in a variety of restaurants after college, then fell into food writing, and then wrote novels, Arabian Jazz and Birds of Paradise, The Language of Baklava, a food memoir, and another one, Life Without a Recipe. Arabian Jazz considered the first novel to bring the Arab-American experience to a wide reading audience. And it's the birthday of Thomas Flanagan, Greenwich, Connecticut, 1923, author of historical novels set in Ireland, The Year of the French, the best known which won the National Book Critics Circle Award in 1979. And it's the birthday of the journalist Ida Tarbell, born in Erie County, Pennsylvania, 1857, best known for her series of articles, The History of the Standard Oil Company. 1902, it came out in McClure's Magazine and exposed the business practices of Standard Oil and led to the Supreme Court breaking Standard Oil's monopoly. Her style of writing became known as muckraking. It was simply investigative reporting. Ida Tarbell said there was born in me a hatred of privilege, privilege of any sort, so I was ready for a platform of social and economic justice if I should ever awake to my need of one. It's the birthday of the poet Ella Wheeler Wilcox, born Johnstown, Wisconsin, 1850, who was famous for her poem Solitude, which begins... Laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone, for the sad old earth must borrow its mirth. It has trouble enough of its own. And today is Guy Fawkes Day in Britain, celebrating the night in 1605 when a man named Guy Fawkes was arrested. He was guarding a stash of explosives underneath the House of Lords, the gunpowder plot hatched by a group of English Catholics to blow up the Houses of Parliament and assassinate the Protestant king, King James I. It became an annual event, this celebration, with fireworks and bonfires and trick-or-treating and the burning of effigies. Here's a poem for today for Limerick's Q R S. There was an old lady of queens who survived on wieners and beans, wearing army surplus, riding the bus, and stealing from vending machines. A misanthrope living in Raleigh believed human friendship was folly, but he did get it on with a trumpeter swan and was fond of a miniature collie. An old fellow lived in St. James, whose parents were in silver frames, and looked down from the wall, and if he swore at all, their pictures burst into flames. An old fellow up in two harbors, no longer bothered with barbers, he let his hair grow ten feet or so, and wore it on overhead arbors. Four Limericks by Gary Johnson, used by permission of the poet, here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.